more charges. One white guy, he looked like a little a geek. I said, said, oh, another charge. I was like, what the hell? If I talk, there's charges? I said, you guys are fucking not bright. I said, you guys don't even know what you're doing. I said, you're following your boss. Your boss is going to lead you guys the wrong path. But you know what? That's fine. Just follow, follow your boss. So they took me uh, downstairs. And then this time, uh, I think it was uh, Jackson, an African-American uh, sergeant there. He was down there. And, uh, well, the first time, they make you sign some papers if you have any problems, bodily hurt, hurting. I said, no, the first time I was fine. And then the second time, this guy wanted me to sign some stuff. I said, I'm not signing it. He wanted me to just to sign it and he'll fill it out. I said, that's kind of illegal. You want me to sign the thing where it shows the body where it hurts and you're going to fill it in the blanks? I said, that is a wrong thing what you're doing there, buddy. You can't do that. And he was swearing at me and everything. And then after a while, I was just getting so frustrated. I started having chest pains. So we had, and then I asked him, can I make a phone call? Just a minute, buddy. Just a minute, buddy. Kept on saying buddy. Now, now we're buddies. Now, if you're saying buddy, how many buddies are going to put their buddies in jail? He ain't my buddy. He's not my buddy. You don't talk to somebody like he's your buddy, and then you throw him in jail. And then they finally took me. They took me, uh, the ambulance came by. And then the ambulance, well, I, I don't know, they were talking out there, and I was having pains. And then what somebody said, does he have papers? Is he uh, uh, an illegal? And I couldn't believe that. I said, what the hell are these clowns talking about? Am I an illegal? What does this have to do with anything about my chest pains? So if I was an illegal, you wouldn't take care of me? Oh my gosh, terrible. And then when the ambulance, the guys came in the in the, in the lockup, I asked them, which one of you uh, guys works for the immigration? They looked at me, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, well, I heard somebody talking about immigration. I said, it must have been the sheriff's doing that. I said, okay, thank you, sir. And uh, when they took me out, this was, this was even more degrading. I'm a businessman. And they locked me up. My hands, my feet, to the wheelchair. All I needed was a muzzle, like lector. I couldn't believe it. They had me wheelchair, and they had the sheriff's all right next to me, like I was a killer. I couldn't believe this shit. Torture? We got torture and everything here. This bullshit, what you guys do. So they took me inside the fire, uh, fire ambulance, even though Mr. Jackson never let me make a phone call. I kept on talking. The guys with the Chicago Fire Department, those are excellent guys. I felt good when they came. I thought I was. I was in better hands, you know, because uh, the sheriffs were right there, but they were there, so they couldn't do much. So they finally took me to Northwest, I call it Northwest uh, Cook County Hospital. I'll explain that in a little bit. And then I finally went in there, as they got me in there, I, I see one of the doctors, I said, I need to make a phone call, please, I need to call my wife, I need to call my wife, she has to know where I'm at. Just a minute, just a minute, because the sheriffs would not let me make a phone call. After a while, they finally let me in. They put me in the emergency, whatever, one of those beds, still locked up, chained up like a dog, <laughs> like a dog. And uh, they, they uh, you know, they finally let me make a phone call. But here's the deal. As the doctor was there, he left. So Mr. Jackson and Morrissey were there, two flunky uh, sheriffs. So Jackson was right there on the phone. And I started talking to my wife, and then I started speaking in Spanish. Oh my gosh, that set him up. Mr. Jackson, I'm sorry you're ignorant, you can only speak one language, brother, but it's good to speak two or three languages. That means you're a smart person, because English is good, but if you know more two or three, that makes you a little smarter. And that's what you don't like, Jackson. Jackson threatened my life. He said, if you keep on talking like that, you will see what I do to you. I said, what the heck are you talking about? You'll see, just keep on talking like that and you'll see what I do to you. I take that as a threat. Mr. Jackson, that is wrong. We are in America. We can talk whatever we want. Freedom of speech, freedom of anything. And you're, you're violating my constitutional rights because of your sergeant boy told you not to let me do anything. And then he started calling me, five, four, three, two, one, hung up my phone, hung up the phone, just like that. And then, well, while his other flanky was just watching him. It's terrible, Mr. Morrissey, terrible. All right, and 
after a while, you got a, a nurse, nurse, uh, he called himself Bob Vila, a white guy, Bob Vila. All right, total ass, treating me like shit. Rude, rude. I guess they figure anybody that comes in there handcuffed is a criminal. Well, you know what, Mr. Bob Vila at Northwest Hospital? That's not true. I have a house and everything just like you clowns do. I'm not better and you're not better than me. We're all equal. And, and that's the sad thing is you guys think you're better than everybody. Well, Northwest Hospital, Bob Vila, I hope he's not working anymore though because he treated me like shit, swearing at me, uh, all kinds of shit. Treating me like crap. It's all, it's all on the in incident reports with the sheriffs and all that other shit. So, um, Bob Vila. Nobody would, would, I kept on telling him, I said, I'm being stressed by these two sheriffs. Can you just put them outside, please? I mean, I can't go anywhere. I'm locked up like an animal. Where am I going to go? Float out of here? I can't. I can't. I'm not a magician. So time passed, and my wife got a hold of some lawyer. I don't know, somebody. We, we got that all in documents. Everything's in documents. And uh, he came to the hospital. The sheriffs would not let him see me. They would not let him talk to me. They would not. They were like hiding me from everybody. And I even told the doctor, I said, what is going on here? I said, what is going on here? Please, let the lawyer see me. Let, if these cops don't think that they're doing wrong, let them show. But by, by, by they're not doing that, they're saying they're guilty. And they're, again, violating my rights. We're not in the Cook County Sheriff's. We are in Northwest Hospital. But I guess the Cook County Sheriff's tell you guys what to do in your own home. Even though you know this is bad for my health. Extremely bad. I'm not a doctor, but I know stress is bad. Stress is worse. It's, it's a killer. It kills people. So after a while, you know, he left because no good. Even my wife called because I couldn't talk to my wife anymore because you had, you had Commando Jackson uh, controlling everything and Morrissey. So after a while, uh, they finally take me to another room, and I, I have IV, whatever sticking out, which I don't like taking medicines. I don't take. I even told them I don't take medicines. I do not take medicine. I don't need medicine. I don't. Your own body produces medicine, so I don't need any. I don't get sick. So uh, they they would put me on an elevator, and I was getting so frustrated because I've been there hours. I wanted to stretch out, so I stood up. Oh, Morrissey and Jackson, they threw a fit. They threw a fit. They said, you can't stand up. I mean, I was just, I was laying on bed, but I just stood up. They made a big, I said, I'm sorry. I am so stressed. I am very uncomfortable. I got to stand up. No, you can't. It's the rule. I said, what the hell are you talking about? You guys have rules now in the hospitals? And, oh my gosh. And I just... I wanted, I was so mad at them. And then Morrissey started grabbing my arms. And then I said, <laughs> you don't need to hold me. And then my IV, he tore my IV off, off my arm. I don't know what they put in me. Because to the, today, both of these, both of these uh, right here hurt. They hurt pretty much. I never had that problem before I, I got caught up in this stupid charade of these cops that are committing so many crimes and uh, after a while you know they finally you know bring me downstairs and then here comes another doctor Dr. Lerner is her name they didn't they kept on saying are you gonna calm down are you gonna calm down I told him how can I calm down when I know I didn't do anything and you have me chained up like an animal let me put you in this position and let's see how calm you can be nobody can be calm when you know you're right and you did nothing wrong, and they lock you up like an animal. That is illegal. Illegal. But that's fine. Everybody has their day. So, we're, I don't know, downstairs, upstairs, I don't know where I'm at, but they took me in the elevator. And then Dr. Lerner, she's down there, and she's in my back, and all of a sudden I hear her talking. We're probably going to have to put him on medication and call a psychiatrist. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? She already knows exactly what's wrong with me. Wow, then she must have the cure for cancer and everything because she knew exactly what was wrong with me.
Mr. Uh, Dr. Lerner, can I lock you up and put you in jail? And let's see how you can handle yourself and torture you like that, verbally, physically, because I do have all the pictures of all my bruises, everything. So, uh, they finally put me in a room and then they, the two clowns are right next to me. I'm like, I couldn't believe this shit. They're still, I don't know what time, 11, 12, 1 o'clock, who knows what time it is. And then uh, Jackson or Morris, one of those clowns says, we're going to let you go. Well, because they kept on trying to tell the doctor, you know, we want to take him back, we want to take him back. Like, they wanted the okay from the doctor, like, is he okay so we could take him back, so we could torture him more? 